Sci-Fi Blitz episode two. Hope you're as excited as I am. I'm pumped for this. I'm uh, I'm terrified right now. I'm, I'm trying not to be nervous when I do these. Oh boy, man, it's intense, this, uh, this whole challenge. All right, you ready? Get my game face on. Star Wars, Death Star, Trench Run in one hour. Three, two, one, and we're off. I'm going to do the traditional blender start and delete all. And uh, let's uh, let's get started. I'm going to start off with a, a plane. I'm going to scale this plane up. And uh, this is going to be our general, you know, Death Starness. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and control R to do a loop cut. I'll roll my mouse wheel once to make two of them. And I'll scale them on the X and bring them right down. And maybe a little bit more, something like this. And then I'm going to go E to extrude, grab Z, drop it down. Boom. Okay, we're done. Great. Thanks for joining this week. I hope you all had fun. All right, I'm gonna delete my edges, and my uh, my two you know caps here, and this is where it's gonna be sort of the start of our trench. I'm gonna go ahead and create um, a camera. All right, now if any of you guys have watched Particle City tutorial series on my channel at C Bailey Film, you will be very familiar with what we're about to do. Here, I'm gonna Shift A. We're gonna go Mesh Cube. Grab it on the X so I can just focus in on it for a second. I'm also going to create a new collection and I'm going to call this my Griebel collection. Anyone know how to actually spell Griebel? If you're not familiar with the term Griebel, it comes from uh, like in model making when they would make like the models for Star Wars, Star Trek, all those kinds of you know movies like back in the 80s when um, they used models all the time. Uh, Griebel was they would take all these different random uh, model pieces from like modeling kits and um, like kind of, you know, kit bash them, like glue them all together. You to extrude. I'm going to grab it up a little bit. And E to extrude again, just wrap it in and maybe grab this guy and this guy. We're going to hit E to extrude and grab on the Z, bring them up. These are all the different shapes that they have. You can see it's just a bunch of random model pieces, but I see some domes in there, some cylinder bits. We've got the iconic towers and I'm going to go shift A in edit mode, UV sphere. And down here, I'm just going to drop my segments down to like maybe 15. I'll just position this thing somewhere. Let's add a, um, I'm going to add a cylinder. Are we going for time? 51 minutes. All right, we've done 10 minutes, making good progress. I mean, but you make a sandworm in a desert scene in an hour, huh? That's it's crazy. It's madness. Nobody does that, right? People like do that kind of thing in like two hours, not one. I'll just call it G1 for Griebel 1. And I'm going to put this in my Griebel collection. And I'm going to create a new particle system. So come over to particles, click new. I'm gonna switch it to hair, okay? So we can grow hair on the Death Star because why not? Come down to render and instead of render as path, we're gonna render as collection. And I'm gonna select my Griebel collection. All right, go ahead and jump in my camera so we can look at this properly. And uh, I'm going to do some random scale on these guys. I'll adjust them up. And I'm gonna, we gotta get the, the angle right for these guys. So the best way to do that is gonna be going to edit mode, select all, rotate on the Y90, not the Y, uh, rotate on the Z90, no, rotate on the X90. Okay, that's, that's close. Rotate on the X, negative 90. And yeah, bingo. So now you can see these guys are all sitting on the surface. Now I want them a little bit above the surface. So I am going to, in edit mode, grab this on the Y and just drag it forward a bit. You can see all those particles in the distance are like levitating now. They're kind of rising up. So now we can look into the view here and you can see we're going to get a lot more of these guys all across our surface. Now I'm going to take the scale and drag the scale down and I'm just going to increase the number of particles. Just drag this thing right up. Um, let's go ahead and throw in a few more greebles. So I'm going to come over here. We got, so we've been 15 minutes so far. So we got 45 minutes left. Select this object and I'm going to shift D to duplicate, grab it on the X, drag it out. So now it's in the same collection, right? So this is now going to also be a particle in our world. So now what we can do is we can take this and, uh, we could just, you know, either we can actually just keep it like this and we can rotate it, or we could, uh, just try experimenting with, I'll hit L to select all of this. I'll grab this guy on the X, drag him over. It was Father's Day here recently in Australia. I was I was playing outside with my daughter, and um, sh we were you know we were, we were playing spaceships because what else what else do you do? And uh, all of a sudden she turns to me and she says, "Dad, I don't want to go to pretend space. I want to go to real space." Just made my made my Father's Day right there. I thought I'd throw in antidotes just randomly while we do this. What, tell me tell me what you think of antidotes. Gosh, it's so weird being at this angle. Ah! Well, let's see what this is looking like. So just by adding a little bit of variety, you can see we're really starting to get that break up a lot more. Now these, this bigger sphere is really standing out to me a bit too much, I think. So I think what I'll do 
is I'll get rid of the big sphere. Now, one thing we could do as well is because we're using a collection, um, I can I can use count, right? So I can come over here to, I can come here and click tick use count. And then it gives me, basically I'm using an equal proportion of all these guys, but let's say I wanna use the first one um, the most. So I'm gonna come here and I can just increase that number. And then the second one, let's maybe increase the second one a bit. And that's gonna make basically less and less of that third one, these tower things you can see. And I'm gonna create a lamp. I'm gonna go for a sun lamp. And in space, we can have this like sort of like main central light direction. So also in space, no one can hear you scream if, if you didn't know that already. Get right in on this thing, you know? Like we're really flying in to a trench here. Rotation, which way to Dutch when you Dutch your angle. It's always tough. Now the sun is in my Griebel collection. I'm gonna make sure I don't do that because that's gonna instantiate the sun across the whole scene. Griebel within a Griebel. So we're gonna create like a Griebel shader basically. So to do that, I need to get uh, two Veronis. And then what we're gonna do is we'll take the distance of the first one, we'll plug it into the vector of the second one. Uh, get a color ramp close, we're almost at the halfway point, everybody. Are we gonna make it? And I'm gonna grab a texture coordinate node just for just for fun and a mapping node. There's a, there's a fly on my, ha! being attacked by gnats. The universe is conspiring against me. Now let's see, not Minkowski, I'm gonna go Manhattan. Go Manhattan here too. And I'm going to take my scale way up. You can see what we're going for. Go, let's see, what is, does object give me a better? Yeah, object's gonna lay it across the object better. Um, so we'll do that. And I'm gonna rotate on, which one is it? 45 degrees, yep, there we go. So now you can see it's lined up really well uh, along. First, we're gonna create a bump out of it. So I'll go bump and I'll take this and I'll pipe this into the height and I'll take this and pipe this into the normal. And I'm gonna take my strength right down and I'll leave my distance. Also might switch this to constant. Particles on particles, bah. Uh, I'm gonna go for, is it material 01? Now we're gonna have to uh, alter this, I think, because the scale is so different between these two to get it to work well, it needs to it needs to have a different scale. So I'm gonna take material.01 and I'm gonna click that little button to create a new material. And then I'll come over here, I'll shift, uh, let's see, I'll just select all these guys and I'll make sure that material is selected and I'll click down here, copy material to selected. Now they all have that .02. And uh, now what I can do is I can just change the scale overall. Um, I can keep the values all the same over here and just come over and create a value node. And then I can pipe that into the scale itself. And now we can actually just use this to change the overall scale value. So I think if we bring it down, let's try 0.01. All right, um, let's, uh, let's, let's move on. Let's do some other stuff. We need some space. So uh, I'm gonna go over to object mode. I'm gonna go world. And I'm gonna go, uh, let's see, shift A, we're gonna create a noise texture. I'm gonna create a color ramp. And I'm gonna take this factor. We're down to 30 minutes, everybody. 30 minutes. I need like a kind of, you know, hype alarm for an emission. And I'll take this, uh, this and drag it right up. And then I'll take the scale, bring the scale way, 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 way up. All right, now let's uh, let's get some towers in. I use these guys as like a scale reference. So I'll take this one and I'll shift D, grab it on the X, just drag it out, turn these back on. But I'm gonna take this out of the collection, okay? And then I'm gonna rotate on the X uh, 90. All right, sorry, I should really focus in on my, if you ever get at a weird like tilted angle like this, by the way, and you're like trying to model, all you gotta do is just pick one of those cardinal directions up here and it's it'll just flatten out for you. All right, so I've got my tower. Um, now I'm gonna create some guns. So I'm gonna shift S cursor to selected. Actually, I'll put this cursor here. Shift A, we're gonna add in a cylinder. I'm gonna scale him down, rotate on the X 90 degrees. Scale that down, come right here, grab X, pull it over a little bit. E, bring that in. E, bring that on the Y out a little bit. E again, scale that down, E, and then I'll hit E, scale that down, and then E, grab that, and kind of pull it in to make the barrel there. And then what I'll also do is, let's see, I'm gonna create a loop cut right here. Just roll that loop cut, click, and then hit escape. And while they're still selected, I'm gonna control B to bevel that, drag that just a little bit, to pull these guys out and then I can hit E to extrude and scale 
um, on the individual origins like this. And now I've got a nice little kind of ridged thing going on for the gun barrel. If I go like this, I think I can grab, um, let's see, this face right here and this one. I can hit E to extrude, scale them down. Maybe one more time, scale them right down and grab them down and maybe scale them on the Z zero like that and then grab them down. This hit L, all these greebles and things. We, uh, with the, uh, the Particle City series on my channel on C Bailey Film, um, it's got this like nine part thing that we did where we created a Blade Runner scene, a uh, whole like Blade Runner city using, um, using this technique with, um, With particles turn out pretty cool. Um, I'm going to take this front face. I'm going to hit E. I'm going to scale this in a bit. Um, I'm going to bring this bit out a little bit. Uh, I'm going to control B. I'm going to do that same trick again. Just scale that up just so there's like something, you know, going on. Uh, makes it look a bit more intense. Uh, vertex right here. I'm going to go shift uh, S cursor to selected and then I'm going to leave edit mode. I'm going to go shift A curve bezier. I'm going to take both these guys, scale them on the Y zero to straighten it out. I'm just making some uh, some like pipes and cabling. So now I'm going to turn snapping on, but I'm going to snap to faces. So I can just drag this across the face. We can take this, maybe shift D and uh, rotate on the Y 90. I'm going to create another plane like this. Um, I'm going to grab it on the X, bring it right over to our scene, just scale it up. And then um, what I can do is make a particle system on this. And uh, let's see, I'll name this one uh, tower. And I'm going to need to combine all this stuff. So I need to convert all of these guys. So F3 convert uh, mesh from curve. So now those are meshes. And then I can shift select that and I can go F3 join. And now this is all one mesh object called tower. And now this plane, I can come down here to uh, physics. I'll just leave it a normal particle system, do no physics. And I'm going to go under render and we're going to select uh, object and we're going to go for a uh, tower. And then um, what we'll do is um, we will turn up the scale on these guys. I'm also going to make sure all the particles get uh, emitted on that first frame. I can turn this right down to 10, let's say. And then I'm going to adjust the size of these particles so that they make sense. So now I can come over here to my, uh, where's my other plane? Okay, so it's in the Greeble collection. Got to be careful about that. I'm going to shift D, grab it on the Z, grab it on the X, and then the Z. And under instancing, I can show the instancer, I can turn off show instancer on viewport and render. And what that's going to do is that's going to hide this plane. Um, and on particle settings as well, we've got the show emitter, uh, which also gets ticked off when you do that. All right, so we've got some of these dudes. Now we need to have like one or two hero, um, hero ones. So I'm going to back these guys off here and I'll grab my tower and I'm going to shift D on this guy. And uh, let's grab him. I'm going to put him and grab him the X, grab him the Y, just bring it in here. I'm just going to rotate it around the top vertices there, and I'll select all of those. There we go. So I can jump in my camera view and rotate this guy. Ships. Do we have time for ships? We've got 12 minutes. Man, this is this is nuts. This is nuts. All right, well, we definitely need some lasers. So let's get some lasers going. So I'm going to go shift A, and I'm going to do a, um, I'll just do a cylinder and I will grab this thing here, switch back over to flat mode, scale it on the Z, scale it down. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can do lasers. Sometimes, uh, you know, people like the teardrop look. It's totally up to you. Um, oh yeah, and what color are the bad guy lasers in Star Wars? That's, that's right, it's there. Um, and then that, yeah, because then the good guys are, are red. So, do that. Eight minutes. Yeah, Shift A, add laser. It totally needs to be an option for Blender, you know? Like, it's what everyone does, right? 
switch to rendered view. Now I'm going to turn up the strength of this emission by going to the value here and just go in and see if I try five. That'll really make that glow pop. Getting there, seven minutes. Some crossing lasers that are uh, red now. Okay, so I'm gonna come up here, create a new material. Bam, switch from green, we're gonna switch over to red. So, oh, four minutes, final five minutes, here we go. Yeah, grease pencil, just draw everything in. <laughs> like this, maybe, and we got like lasers now that we need to move and get better positioning of stuff. At least this is gonna equip you with some really cool, you know, clarity on how you might be able to make this yourself. Now, um, I need to extend my trench as well. Now, I can do two things. I could take this whole system and just shift D and drag it out, which might be a good idea in this case. Um, but it's gonna double the particles in the scene. So save first and let's do it. Ready? Shift D. And we're gonna grab on the, what am I, global, grab on the Y, drag it out, jump over to it, come over here, go into edit mode, and we can grab these, bam, and we can scale on the X and bring them in like that a little bit. There, oh no, we messed up our camera. I can't believe I just did that. Rookie error. Wrangle a good shot there for us. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hit render. I'm gonna render an image, get out of this mode. I'm gonna go over here to the image editor and I'm gonna come over here to the compositor. 23 seconds, can I do it? We use nodes, use nodes, viewer node. 13 seconds, I don't think I'm gonna be able to land where I want to. Eight, no, it's not gonna, we're gonna have time. I was gonna do a vignette, emotion blur. That's all right. Nice work, everybody. Pretty good. This has been a lot of fun. You can find me on social media at C Bailey Film. Just search C Bailey Film. You'll find me everywhere on YouTube, Twitter, all that stuff. We have a lot of cool sci fi uh, videos and stuff that I do as well all the time. Check out CG Cookie, a lot of great stuff there. Man, that was intense. So, uh, yeah, Star Wars. Now, you can see how you can use these effects and really push it a lot farther and get some very, very cool stuff going. This, this trick of using particles to create like greebles and stuff is really, really effective for, you know, kind of just just really like nailing um, large, dense scenes. Um, and it's also really great because it doesn't use a lot of your computer. So it actually, um, it conserves a lot of power because it's not actually creating fresh geometry for all these faces. It's instantiating the geometry every time he does it. So it, it's, it's really good for that. So, man, thanks everybody so much. Really appreciate it. Give me a one in chat if you think I nailed it. Really, really fun. Thanks everybody for joining us. Um, now, I want to make sure everybody knows we're going to put the project file up on CG Cookie. So, um, and that, that'll be for, for free for anyone. You can just make a free CG Cookie uh, account and you'll be able to get the whole of the project file. We'll put the link to that in the description of the video on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, you can do so much more with this. Animate your camera, turn on motion blur, get like that really cool motion blur effect. Go download some free Star Wars assets and like stick them in the scene, you know, like reanimate the whole thing. Go for it. It can be really cool. If you really like the show, smash that like button. Let us know in the comments and we will keep going. Thank you so much, everybody. I will see you next time. Adios. And this could be a complete disaster. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go.